NHL playoffs begins tonight, and Vegas is facing the Dallas Stars, but they're not playing tonight. So, let's say this video is like a round one preview, but obviously not as detailed as the hockey guy, which he's an amazing uh, hockey channel. Big Vegas Golden Knights last year had it, their historic best season, their best record in the regular season last year and we all know they went on to win the Stanley Cup in year six just as the owner promised cup in six and now they're having a Western Conference final rematch in the round one of the 2024 playoffs the Dallas Stars this year finished 52 wins and finished first in the Central Division and the best in the Western Conference of the 2024 regular season and ha have m multiple 30 goal scorers, 20 goal scorers, and wants a depth this time to help them. And with Matt Duchesne, who was bought out by Nashville, really helps their team. Meanwhile, the defending Stanley Cup champions this year, f wins dropped, and they finished with 45 wins, 29 losses. And Vegas, throughout the second half of the season, has been struggling a lot, but they also have had injuries, like, a lot this season losing Jack Eichel at times Mark Stone out for the remaining of the regular season as well others getting hurt like Vegas has had a really rough time with injuries the second half of the season like they did get reinforcements with Thomas Hurdle who's just playing incredible decently um, but for Vegas this is going to be a tough run to the cup if they can get to all four rounds because they're not going to have home ice advantage because they're an 8 seed team this year. It, so it would be very, very hard to repeat starting each game of the series on, on the road. But I believe Vegas can do it again with everyone healthy. And they got all their players almost from last year. Only a few people left. But it's tr tough to go through all that hell and go back to back in a full season. Only one team has done that, and that's the 2016-2017 Pittsburgh Penguins, the first team to repeat in the salary cap era. And what I've learned since uh, 2019, don't underestimate 8-seed teams, and especially 2014. The 8-seed LA Kings won the cup in 2012. Like, don't underestimate 8C teams. We saw what Florida go on runs last year. And for Vegas, if they're going to repeat this year, like, everyone's going to have to score. Like, and... Stay out of the penalty box this year. Just, like, especially against tough teams like Dallas or Edmonton. Or if they make it to the conference final. Since Vegas would be facing a central team in the second round. But don't underestimate the Vegas Golden Knights as underdogs. Don't underestimate them. Underestimate them. Because Jack Eichel last year was proof that he's a playoff warrior. And Jack Eichel loves being in the playoffs. Players to watch on Vegas. Carlson having a 30 goal season getting his scoring back this year. And good off and good penalty killing and March is so 40 goals this year and looking to repeat he's looking forward to repeat as a playoff MVP well it doesn't matter who wins he wants another cup and he's showing and Vegas had the strongest start any cup defending champion team coming off a cup win this last season but Vegas did struggle and has had trouble staying healthy the second half of the season and was in danger of missing and losing the cup after winning the cup last year. But I say don't underestimate these Golden Knights the, and the people of the original Misfits that only five left. Braden McNabb, Shea Theodore, William Carlson, Jonathan Marcheseau, and William Carrier. Yeah, don't underestimate them. And like Vegas still has decent depth and veteran leadership. 
a water better run. We just show what Alex Petrangelo, Alex Martinez, and I guess we can call Carlson Marcheseau and some others veterans now. So yeah, I think the keys to Vegas to repeat this year is stay out of the box. Everyone needs to score and see if Logan Thompson or Aiden Hill can do it and see if Aiden Hill can do it again if Thompson goes down. And during the first half of the season, Aiden Hill was proven that it wasn't a fluke, but the real test is the playoffs. So do I believe Vegas can repeat? Yes, I believe they can. It's going to be tough. All four series on the road. And also facing teams like Colorado, Dallas, it, or Winnipeg. Even though they beat Winnipeg last year in the first round. And Edmonton if they go into the conference final. It will be a challenge. Like, it will be. Like, just because you won last year against those teams doesn't mean you will win this year. But I believe don't underestimate eight seed teams or Vegas as an underdog. Don't underestimate them. For now, I say if Vegas wins this series, I say Vegas in, in six or seven. That's my my prediction. And if they lose, I would say five. And if Vegas can win a playoff series and doesn't go far, I say second round. But I believe Vegas can win the cup again. I strongly believe. So, yeah, I believe. And who would I like to see Vegas face if they make it to the conference final and Stanley Cup finals? For the conference final, hmm, I'd like to see the LA Kings since they were my second favorite team at the time before Vegas came into the league. So, yeah, it would be cool. A former second-round team versus the now second-favorite team. And for the finals, if they make it, and verse in the East, I would love to see the Florida Panthers, the 2023 Stanley Cup rematch. And the second team I would like to see is the Washington Capitals, 2018 Stanley Cup rematch. But Chandler Stevenson will be on the Vegas this time. So, yeah, these are my slots and predictions for Vegas.